This is a really difficult decision that's been taken. Uh, but it's good to see that the government is using data, not dates, uh, at least to do it. So the data you've provided have been helpful for that. And we have to realise, I don't think this decision would have been taken uh, to increase the time limit on, on restrictions if we'd done it a month ago when uh, levels were very low. We had uh, perhaps only about 2,000 cases a day and we had the lowest levels in Europe. Uh, now we have five times that amount and uh, the rates are still increasing across the country, although it's definitely more in some places than others. And life is definitely uh, better than it was. You know, we are able to go out and meet people. And so we, we need to remember how uh, restricted things were uh, a few months ago. And what's really important is that this extra four weeks will allow us much more time to get more people vaccinated. And we know this is really important, uh, particularly getting that second dose for uh, many susceptible people who uh, might have be, uh, in their 50s or have uh, other uh, illnesses and problems. This should really make a big difference as well as make it much harder for the virus to spread. It's also important for people to get that first dose because <clears throat> although it may not be uh, protecting as much as it was against the original variant because of this nasty, sticky Delta variant, all our data is suggesting that if you have had that fast vaccine, you are going to get a milder form of the illness and probably less likely to get uh, long COVID, etc. So that's really important. The uh, delay this four week also coincides with um, the end of the school year. And we have to think of kids that uh, have been so deprived of education. And hopefully this will give them the time to uh, complete that without uh, the virus overtaking those schools and, and closing them all down. And uh, the good news is of also that when we've looked at our data, there is suggestion, particularly in the places where it has been highest in the Northwest and Scotland and a few other areas, that we might have turned the corner, that the rate of increase is definitely going down. It's still going up, but not as fast. And so it suggests that um, by the time this four weeks are over, this peak will be well on the way down and numbers will be getting back to where we were four weeks ago. And again, we can be the lowest uh, country in Europe. And also the other thing to remember for the next four weeks is to keep numbers down. We've got to remember that, that what the COVID symptoms are and our app has been leading the way on this. And it, it's all about uh, if you feel ill, uh, the symptoms you've got may resemble a cold. It's headaches, sore throats, runny nose, the top three at the moment, particularly in young people. Really important, you don't just uh, say that can't be COVID because the uh, NHS guidelines don't say that. This is the real data on the ground and this is what's happening at the moment. So do take it seriously and uh, protect yourself and protect others and get a lateral flow test. So. To sum up, this isn't the news we wanted, but let's all do our best to get as many people vaccinated and double vaccinated and get us back to normal life again. Thanks for your support.